Hello everyone, I'm your boy Ben Boy, and welcome back to another installment of the BBM Podcast. Today I'm joined by both of my co-hosts, uh, TF Slayer, Nick, or Brent, or TF Crusher, and today we have a special guest, Aaron, or Steel Phoenix. And, uh, uh. Yep, and he's today in just another podcast. Gameplay in the background is some GTA 5 motorcycle club missions. So does anybody have any opening stories or anything you want to talk about? Um, do not. Nobody you does. Off, Alrighty, so the first thing uh, that is on the list, I thought I I titled it in the uh, grouping of crazy because it it's a ridiculously stupid like it's a dummy high amount of money. A f this was on November sixteenth, twenty seventeen. A $500 million museum that is completely self-funded is set to open in Washington, D.C. Um, the museum is... Uh, it's the Museum of the Bible is set to open this Saturday, and some people have already seen the inside and have taken some pictures to share online. The museum's main purpose is to show off artifacts from the time period in which the Bible was talking about and written in. The owners of the museum, the Green family, have stated that the goal behind the museum isn't religious, it's just purely to show genuine artifacts from the time period. Which, I mean... Who is it self-funded by? The, this family of people named the Greens, apparently. I don't understand oh, okay. how they fucking... How how do you have five million dollars to just? It's not even five movie? million. It's five hundred million. Oh, five hundred million, and people don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, like, I've I don't... never heard about this because the, the richest one percent have tons and tons and tons of money. But usually you hear about them. Usually you know these people, like Bill Gates, celebrities. You like... know of them, maybe. But you don't know every rich person. Yeah, you know what I meant. Maybe the Greens do have, like, a, a famous, like, relative that doesn't share the same last name or something. You guys even know who the Koch brother, brothers are? Yeah, didn't I they? Coke? Yeah, didn't they? <laughs> no. Koch brothers, uh, they basically have an oil, they're in the oil industry. And they have literally billions upon billions of dollars. So the Coke brothers actually don't own Coca-Cola. No, they don't own Coca-Cola. That's a corporation. Coke brothers have like, they think in the last election they spent close to $8 billion. That's... dummy expensive. Oh, they have massive amounts of money, so why not? Ooh! I think Brent knows what I would do with I actually uh, just one shot. Eight billion dollars. Yeah, that's great. What would you do with, with eight billion dollars, Nick? I'd buy eight hundred thousand Mitsubishi Lancers. Oh my God. <laughs> you shouldn't. I don't think they've ever made that money. <laughs> I guarantee what? they haven't made that many. <laughs> oh, did Aaron get in the car? Or the bus? Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Okay, I didn't even see you get hey, in it. I just saw it start gameplay. driving away, and I'm like, what the fuck? Are you talking about gameplay? I don't give a fuck anymore. I realize <laughs> now that it's very difficult to not talk about the gameplay while playing this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I honestly... I don't know. I Yo, I would buy... I don't know what I would even buy with that much money. I'd buy You'd a taco every day of my life. You would have taco to give most of that to charity. Like, Probably. you would have no... Like, I would... I that's would what my get... parents say about, like, winning the lottery. Like, there's no way you could spend, like, 10 mil by yourself. Of course, taxes are taking them out and everything, but still. Of course like, you could spend 10 million dollars. It's so easy to spend 10 mil. On what? What do you mean on, on what? After you buy yourself a nice house, shit. a nice car, and, you know, 
Brent, and we'll buy you ten Mercedes like G-Wagons with it. A uh, big old garage to stick them in. Left. Okay, I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you, the G-Wagons aren't that nice. They just look like a glorified Jeep of some sort. Yeah, pretty much. $150,000 Jeep. Yeah, but Jeeps <laughs> are nice. Yeah, like, seriously. I know, I love Jeeps. I, my uh, grandpa has an 09 Wrangler, and it's the nicest thing ever. But, like, still. I would, I would buy... I would, I would rather have an AMG than a G-Wagon. I would buy, like, one of the nicest cars out there right now, but then just do some stupid shit to it just because I have the money. Like, I would buy a Dodge Demon and then put, like, a giant fucking push bar on the front of it and, like, <laughs> completely black it out, put some, like... I get well, a cheap Some, car like, huge that. fucking spoiler just... Oh, my what God. What most people don't remember, though, is, like, once you buy that car, you still have to pay insurance and crap on that. So, like, most people don't put that yeah. into account. Just take a Dodge fucking Demon, murder it out, and put a giant fucking, like, police-grade push bar on the front of it. <laughs> Everybody's nah, like, ew, why'd you put grade. that push That's bar shit. on You need military-grade push bar. Need one that if you run into the Eiffel Tower, that motherfucker's gonna fall over. Dude, if you want, <laughs> dude, you don't need a fucking push bar to run into the Eiffel Tower and knock it over with the fucking Dodge Demon. Are you kidding me? That's four tons of steel going at like 200 miles an hour. You're at least go without even without even a push bar. You're at least gonna wipe out a fucking leg of the Eiffel Tower. Why are we talking about attacking the Eiffel Tower? Right? Oh yeah, you'd be yeah, done. We're Hashtag we're terrorist we're terrorist attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, now you're gonna get fucking the queen's gonna be over See, here putting FBI us in handcuffs. That's <laughs> okay. I don't monetize my terrorists. shit anyway. You're gonna get demonetized. I don't monetize my shit anyway, so there's no demonetization about it. See, because you said terrorists. <laughs> but I don't even enable monetization in the first place. It's like how Edward Snow or whatever his name was Edward said. Snowden. About how every time you say the word terrorist, bomb, kill, murder, anything, it picks it up on the, um, like the government can detect that terrorist through text messages and shit. Terrorist, bomb, kill, murder. Terrorist, bomb, kill, murder. Terrorist, bomb, kill, murder. Yeah, we're like murder. being yeah, red flagged like a game. motherfucker right now. <laughs> <laughs> you can see their Dude, freaking shit going the haywire. FBI like, what the this. hell is going on? Once Over here, here in Pennsylvania, this shit's going nuts. I bought 55, what, well, like, 55 pounds of fucking explosive. Okay, so Did guys, really? this is a fun game. This is yeah, what you I sent it to my friend's house for his birthday. Cause he uses, <laughs> he shoots it. Oh, but okay, I bought him yeah. a bunch of it, and they showed up at his house and knocking on his door, like, what the fuck did you need all this for? Um, <laughs> was it Tanner? Next time you guys... Yeah, it was Tanner, right? Next time you guys go to the airport, play this game. So you know how you get those little smoke bombs when it, for, uh, like, 4th of July and stuff? Yeah. You throw a red one down and yell, CARE PACKAGE INBOUND! <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you get one of the Sir, you're ones, at an airport. Then... Is this Modern Warfare 2? I thought this was yeah, Modern Warfare Yeah, motherfucker, it's terminal up in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, anyway, continue. No, you, you, get, you go to the oh, airport, yeah. put one in a book bag, open up the zipper just a tiny bit, and then just drop the book bag at TSA and walk away. That way smoke's coming out of it a little bit, and they'll think it's, like, explosive in there. Yeah, because that's yeah, a fun game. game. That's a fun game. And then game. scream bomb whenever you're walking away from it. You know what else They're is a go, fun game? Oh, getting fun game. dicked. <laughs> you know what else is a fun game? Getting dicked in Guantanamo Bay by, like, an <laughs> Arab guy because you got arrested because you put a bomb in your, or a smoke bomb in your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, that actually happened at an airport. I forget where it was that. You got dicked by an Arab guy? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I didn't know you're into that shit. <laughs> I get oh, wait, dicked by an Arab guy in Guantanamo Bay. Dude, that happened to me once. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um so pretty much He's like it happens to me on the daily, dude. <laughs> I saw I saw this on Snapchat, but basically... They have Snapchat they like Guantanamo Snapchat. Bay getting dicked in the ass. Well, I guess he, has, he needs something to do. He doesn't feel <laughs> it anymore. 
I mean, were you okay? Whatever. Um. <laughs> Why did your door fall off? Because you jumped out of the car. <laughs> I didn't jump out of the car. Anyway, anyway what about Snapchat? And I was reading on Snapchat that there was this TSA officer, like guy, report, whatever he is, and he was, he um, there was a line of people getting like security checked or whatever, and there was this book bag alone smoking. And the guy, everybody was like running from it because they thought it was a bomb. And here's this just TSA officer just like strolling up to it. He picks it up, shakes it around a little bit, and then walks over to another area with it. <laughs> and they were like, unfortunately, or dude, unfortunately, this TSA, or uh, no, not unfortunately. Um, thankfully, this TSA officer took uh, the correct actions and uh, moved the bag into an area with minimal damage that could happen. Um,. But thankfully, it was only a battery that was smoking, so nothing bad happened. Psst. And they ended up charging the guy for like, possible. Like I don't even know what happened. Like, it was crazy. It's just like, hey, 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 what, 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 what's smoking in your bag? Why is your Why does your bag feel so hot? Why is your bag on fire? Oh, sorry, I had the Samsung Galaxy Note Seven. <laughs> much. Sorry, I was cooking a grilled cheese. Damn it, I was hungry. Also, pro pine pine Oh my god, there's this guy in a Cavalier, and he got his toaster hooked up to the USB port. Well, not the USB, but like that, like, not the cigarette lighter hole, but like, they changed them out with charger ports now. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. He hooked his toaster up to that, and he cooks Pop-Tarts in his car. It's fucking sick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I've heard about that before. I've heard about something similar to that, but with, like, the things that uh, you plug, like... It's like this little push button, and, like, it'll be sitting in your car, and then you push it in, and it'll heat up, and then you pull it out, and it lights cigarettes. Yeah. People, like, create redneck-ass, like, George Foremans for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so... That topic's done, so I can a little overdone. cross that <laughs> off. Alrighty. So let's alright, so do you guys wanna do a death? Now this isn't like about people dying, this is about like the death category is specifically one certain thing of somewhat importance dying. We have um a topic that I thought was pretty cool. We have um a topic pertaining to uh, United States and other countries' law, and then we have um, a topic, two tragedy topics, and the, so I'm which curious one? about the law one you have. Alrighty, now part of the uh, now part of the rules of the podcast is to not talk about U.S. politics, and not all law is political. Like this is not very political. Uh, it is about alcohol, but prohibition isn't really a problem so it's not really political but um on november 15th 2017 is whiskey too cheap uh the scotch whiskey association proposed an appeal to the supreme court to put a minimum price on whiskey because stores were selling whiskey too cheap the supreme court rejected the appeal but in scotland the law is in the works and it has inspired similar talks in wales so do you think that uh, it's bad to have alcohol being sold too cheaply in the United States? Yes Hell and no. no. It's more no. alcohol it's... equals more fucked up. I support low-priced alcohol. It's like, <laughs> it depends on the quality of it, though. Like, if it's good quality, like, yeah, that stuff should have a minimum price. But, like, if it's, like, crap quality, yeah, like, it can be sold. Then it shouldn't have a minimum price. price at all. If it's going to be good quality, it's going to be more expensive than the bad quality stuff. Exactly. I think everything should be a million dollars. There we go. Drugs, tobacco, Well, they're, use, well, they're talking about, like, run-of-the-mill stuff. Like, not exceptionally good quality, but not bad quality, either. Like, we're not talking about the really shitty, like, Best Yet brand uh, whiskey. How am I supposed to get drunk? All but... I drink is whiskey and scotch. I mean, at this, at that point, what's it really matter to the, to the, uh, people, or to the, um, companies? Because they're getting paid the same amount because the people have to buy it from them. Well, no, they're talking yeah, about... Yeah, they put a minimum price on it, it's going to be more expensive. No, they're talking about, like, in, like, um, state stores. Like, for example, the Scottish Whiskey Association or whatever, 
makes, uh, like, they regulate the uh, scotch and whiskey leaving Scotland that comes over to the U.S., and then they get put, and then that whiskey and scotch gets put in state stores, and the state stores are lowering the prices uh, to a certain point, and then when that, like, feedback, like, when the, like, when the spreadsheets and the money reaches back to Scotland, they're like, what the fuck, this is, like, way too low, and then the state stores are like, well, you see, people don't buy it above this price, and then Scotland's like, that's bullshit, raise the price, and then it okay. causes conflict. That could be seen in both point of views in my, in my thoughts, because, like, in our point of view of like the people who drink it yeah the cheaper like the cheaper we can buy it for yeah let's buy it but like <sighs> also if they're getting crapped out in money like that's kind of ridiculous like stupid because they're just getting cheated out in money basically yeah I mean I'm not even 21 yet so <laughs> I don't buy alcohol yet, but... Aren't you just the yeah. big two, though? No, I'm not even t technically 20 yet. Huh. I'm still 19. Is right, your birthday, man? 21, we're gonna... I'm gonna take you out. August. May. Alright. May, My right? birthday's in August. Yeah. That's just like, uh, when I turned 18, my mom's friend Chuck was like... Hey Ben, when am I going to be able to take you to a nudie bar? And I was like, well, you know, can we at least wait until I meet until I'm 21? And then my mom was like, well, why? And then Chuck knew. He was like, oh, well, you don't know? And she's like, no, not really. And he's like, because he wants to get shit faced. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, I can't consciously, like, I, I, I consider myself a too morally correct person to actually just go to a strip club normally. Like, I would have to get fucked up to enjoy myself. <laughs> that reminds me of last night. <laughs> so, we're in the waterfront of Pittsburgh, and there's some strip clubs, and... We we're driving across the bridge, and my buddy Jody that I was driving with, he goes, Yeah, too bad your kids aren't 18. I know some nice Wait. nightclubs down here. I go, I'm 18. He goes, Hi, I'm Jody. Nice to meet you. <laughs> and he goes, Wait, We're going to hit where? them up. Fuck this car show. <laughs> Nick, where? In Pittsburgh. Where in Pittsburgh? In the waterfront. Where? where? Like, where in relation to Dave and Buster's? Behind it. Are you serious? Like it's, yeah. Usually strip club, like, some strip clubs do, but usually strip clubs uh, don't, like, really show themselves off. Like, the ones in GTA do. No, and they're a lot the of ones in big, A lot of, like, well, some in big cities in other countries do, but usually they're on the down low, like, like Aaron said. Like, me, Aaron, and his friend Tyler, we went to, was it Berks County? We went to, I think it was Berks County, yeah. to go see Dragon Ball Z Battle of the Gods because it was the nearest theater to us that was showing it at the time. And we drove past a strip club, and this motherfucking building was not flashy at all. The entire building was completely matte black with blacked out and tinted windows and curtains on the windows. Like, like the, the door was, like, basically spray-painted matte black, and it had, like, a, a theft grate on it. And then inside the door, covering the window was another curtain like they're really secluded because there's laws against like they don't want any kids in cars driving past and looking in and seeing like yeah. chicks with tits hanging out Did you ever see them on like 30 brent like on route 30 they have them yeah yeah i see them there but like yeah those are basically clubs but they're low-key yeah, the like, when you think like of nightclub, I, I know what you're Vegas. thinking of. You're thinking of some, like, Major disco cities. bopping, yeah. flashy, yeah. big old hooker on, yeah, or, like, most nightclubs them, aren't what are they sure called? Most. The LED hookers outside. Neon hooker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like Aaron said, Wait, usually the ones that are like that can you actually go to strip clubs aren't... on your 18? Yes. Or is that 21? Yeah. You can when you're Holy 18. You just shit. can't drink what alcohol. What have I been waiting on? You can't just drink alcohol when you're there until you're 21. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have to fuck. Order soda or milk. Milk. <laughs> the whole philosophy, the reason why people don't go to strip clubs until they're 21 is because there's no point going to a strip club if you can't get absolutely shit-faced because most of the strippers probably look like fucking ass anyway. 
Pretty much. The only time you're gonna enjoy yourself is when you're shit faced. Pretty much. <laughs> That's why I want to get shit faced because I've already seen the chicks around where I live in like high school and shit. I don't even want to imagine when they get up and they're like fucking forties. Like holy shit, their fucking bags under their eyes are gonna be saggier than their tits, and their tits go down to their fucking ankles. Like let's not. <laughs> <laughs> that Emily. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm not going to say anything. No, not that Emily <laughs> Brent, but there's a different Emily that you know of that's on your hockey team. Oh, my oh. God. Do you ever mm -hmm. see her, like, when she's sick and, like, tired at the same time? Oh, my God, her bag's are ridiculous. Yeah, I know. I Which bags? Oh, the not-so-fun fun bags or, like, actual bags, like, under her eyes? Like, under, like, her, under eyes. her eyes. Oh. I knew some chicks in my high school that, like, they were just as old as me, but their tits sagged to their waist. It was terrible. I felt so bad for them. I'm like, you're gonna have a tough life ahead of you. <laughs> you better get one of them there, Trevor Farm Boys. <laughs> you need to get, like, a fucking magic bomb. Somebody's willing to fuck right anything. <laughs> like. Alright, what's the next topic? <laughs> yeah, next topic, moving on. Somehow we went from, well, I, well somehow we went from l laws about alcohol to fucking strip clubs. Alright. <laughs> uh, so what do we want to talk about next? We got death, a cool, and two tragedy topics. Let's do cool. The top, well, cool, it being cool is relative, but I thought it was cool. Um, this one has a long as fuck explanation, too. Um, so let me call my truck quick. I'll bring it by. Alright. November 15th, 2017. What do you do if your child draws or writes on the wall? If you had a child you right smack now... smack that motherfucker. Because <laughs> you'd go with the punish? Would, would you punish them? And then would you, like, try to, like, repaint the wall? Or, like... I wouldn't repaint the wall. Fuck that. I'd try to wash it off Wait, first. What, what did you say? I couldn't even understand. What do you do if your child writes on the writes or paints or draws on the wall? I don't know what. Well, like, what would you do? Like, if you were a parent and you had a child, what, what would you do? Ground him. I'd Michael Jackson that motherfucker hang him over the balcony. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, what would you do with your child? Uh, I hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, fuck it. Probably yeah, hit him. Like, uh, probably punch him. Yeah. CPS. Oh, my child. CPS. What's oh, that? Too. Fucking hit him. Okay. Like, probably tell him he's a worthless piece of shit. Tell well. <laughs> Ninety-eight percent of parents, before hearing this story, might say to punish them and paint slash clean the wall, but Eric Massacut's kid was lucky that he she had a creative parent. When he, Eric she, found a... it's one of them motherfuckers, huh? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. I actually don't know the gender of the child. It never said. Um, so it's an it. When Eric found an unfinished drawing of a greenhouse on his wall, instead of finding the kid and punishing them, he bought a picture frame and put it right over the drawing on the wall. Along with that, he also put a slip of paper on the wall right next to the frame that said, R.C. Massacut, in parentheses, Born 2011, Interrupted House is what he titled it, 2017, Marker on Latex Paint Gifted to His Parents by Surprise on November 13th. So he basically turned it into, like, a painting at an art gallery. Like, a little painting at an art gallery. It looked, it, like, you should have seen the pictures on Twitter. It looked fucking amazing. Um, going above and beyond the call of parenting is always a good call in my book. The only thing that they need to make sure is that they don't let it become a habit. My personal opinion is really, it's really cool to do like once, but don't let your child make it a habit of trashing your wall. Yeah. Beat that motherfucker. Get the belt. <laughs> Teach him how it was before fucking these new millennial kids. And I love how even though we all have our vehicles, we have to like return them and then grab fucking bikes. <laughs> Because it's one of these missions. Mm -hmm. Wait, well, where are the bikes at? Down here. 
They have, they, they have motorcycles next to the contacts in the city. So if you want to... Wait, Aaron, if you want to hitch a ride with me, I can take you down there. And then there's motorcycles there that you can pick them up on. I love this zombie chopper, too. This is great. But, like, I'm always... I think that's, uh, I think that's only a one person. Zombie chopper is two people. Zombie bobber is oh. one person. Oh, mm. shit. They're literally right here. Here, Aaron, hop on one of them. Literally. Um, but yeah, no, the, uh... Where are we? I'm always for kids having cool parents. Like, my parents were really cool when I was young. Like, they wouldn't, like... They wouldn't really punish me on something. They would... I mean, they would, but they would, like, make me see why it was wrong or why I shouldn't do it. And, like, actually explain shit to me, which is what I want to do with my kids. Like, I just don't want to say that... Say to them, like, No, cursing is wrong! Meh! Instead, I want to make them understand, like, look. People are offended jackasses. It doesn't, it doesn't sound so good to adults no when you hear a little kid say it. And on top of that, a lot of people take very bad offense to that. And then once you explain, like, how people get offended and stuff, once you explain everything to them, it kind of, like, helps them realize like oh okay so there's actually a reason to this not just because mom or dad told me not to yeah but who cares i don't get offended about anything well you don't and that would but... actually be good to teach your children that way as well alrighty so on to the next topic. I have to actually pull over and stop so I can actually... No, I don't want to search my device. Fuck off. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we have the death and then the two tragedies. So what should we doing? Let's do death. Alrighty, so this death... Wait, no, 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 no. Let's do tragedy, death, tragedy. Okay. Um... So... So, which do you want to know about? A fire or dead children? Oh, I love dead children. Fire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love dead children. Alright, well, I don't know if any children actually died, but it, it involves a shooting in a middle did. school. Fuck kids. Or not a middle school, wow. an elementary school. Uh, <laughs> fuck kids, Jesus. Alrighty. Tragedy, November 14th, 2015. Five dead after Cali Elementary School shooting. According to... Tehama Sheriff's Office at 7.52 a.m. A 911 call was made to the Sheriff's Office about shots fired at Bobcat Lane in the Rancho Tehama Reserve. <laughs> this is the most this... hick-ass fucking school <laughs> thing I've ever heard in my uh, life. This location was God, right next to no the Bobcat Mail Rancho. Yeah, like, right. uh, this... I just committed suicide. Hold on, I have to actually stop talking to kill this fucking dude on a bike that's chasing me. Okay, um... The- hold on. This location was right next to an elementary school. The shooter later moved locations to the elementary school. Some children were injured, but no fatalities. The sub suspect is confirmed dead. I couldn't find exactly how he died. But I have a feeling that it dude, involved, that's like, a me. shootout with police, that's probably. Me. Oh, that's you. It probably oh. involved a shootout with police, but, like, no children were actually killed, Aaron, so. God damn it. But some, <laughs> but some were injured, so. Aaron, what's with you and hurting children? Children are terrible, dude. They're annoying. Because, like, last story you were like, just beat the kid. Like, <laughs> um, now you're like, kill them. Now, now we're, now we're. Just yeah, don't even like beat. Skip him. the beating. Just straight up murder. Just shoot him. Just yeah, just kill him. Old Yeller. You gotta put him down. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one uh, fell and scratched his knee. I guess we gotta kill him now. I already know what the subtitle to this fucking podcast is gonna be. Last time it was uh, Carl from AT. Aaron killing F kids. H. No, 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 no. Last time it was Carl from ATFH hates burnouts. This one's gonna be anti-children. Alrighty, so I mean, uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know what it is, 
But why is it that every single fucking time that there's a shooting near a school or near a government building or near some or near like a college or something, it's always fucking California. Texas. Bunch of potheads. Why? There was just a shooting in Texas. Yeah, there's just a shooting in Texas at that church. Yeah, I know, Texas but a that's, a, with a, that's, gun a, just that's a church, recorded. though. I'm talking about, like, schools. Like, why is it always schools with there's California? There's a lot of schools in California. But, you know, there's also probably a lot of churches there, too. Like, why is it always... Not nearly as many churches as there are schools. Well, whatever. <laughs> you gotta realize, fucked. California has 20% of the population. Wait, we have to deliver four contacts? Yeah, I'm on my way back. Yeah, to Brent's to already on his way back to the fourth one. Alrighty, well, um, uh... Okay, well, while we're on the topic of massacres, <laughs> did you hear how how the guy was stopped who, was, who did the shooting in Texas? Wasn't it, like, just, like, a traffic stop or something? No. So, the normal church was going on in a... Guy heard By the way, shots. hold on, real quick, real quick, real quick. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, yeah, By the way, okay. this is the same shooting that uh, this is the same church shooting in Texas that in the past. If you if you've watched the previous podcasts, I talked about the chainsaw bayonet and how USA Today like basically said, "Hey, this is the gun that the guy used. Possible attachments for this gun is a fucking chainsaw bayonet from Gears of War." Anyway, sorry, I just had to point that out because it does relate to a topic on the previous podcast mm -hmm. about the fucking chainsaw bayonet. But anyway. But anyway, the guy who stopped them, he heard the gunshots, got his rifle, and him and his friend got in a pickup truck and was chasing the guy down and shooting at his car while the other guy was trying to escape. <laughs> with so a bunch of fucking three Texans, going dude. Down the road, one guy leaning out the window <laughs> shooting at him. Get him, ball, ball, get him, clap, clap. A pickup truck trying to kill this guy. And all he sees <laughs> The guy Clay is killing himself. Clay just grabbed the AR-15! We're gone <laughs> here! We're going spook hunting. Get that <laughs> son like, He was like on the road. He grabbed his AR out of nowhere. It was like GTA. He pulled it out of his butt and then he was like, let's just, go. Spook it's it's like fucking Battlefield Hardline just leans out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well on to the death. This also happened on the 15th. The world's oldest chimpanzee died. Well, I guess he's uh, not the world's oldest anymore. <laughs> he's the world's <laughs> oldest. We're not going to refer dead. to him as the old. The world's, wor the world's oldest. We're going to refer to him as deceased. We're going to refer to him as the world's most suffered chimpanzee because he had to go through 70 years of life before he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dang. that. Um, they're right. They motherfuckers are human. Wait, wait, <laughs> hold on. This is a person? Wait, that's Aaron? You were the one that hit me off my bike? I thought you were- Oh, I thought you were saying that the fucking chimpanzee was Same, actually a dude. I was like, that's kind of racist, <laughs> but okay. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Aaron hit me off my bike and I thought it was an AI, not a person. Um, the world's oldest living chimpanzee named Little Mama died little mama. on the 14th. Little mama ain't so little. That's a big ass mama. <laughs> no, that's an old ass mama. Uh, little mama died Yo, on the 14th. Yo, that's grandmama. <laughs> she went on record that's as the longest right living at 70 years. So that chimpanzee was 70 years old before. Actually, we might have to go ask the Chinese. They probably got some of them motherfuckers over there like 80 or 90. Well, on record. So not in the wild. It was at, it was at a reserve. This is the oldest on record. Yeah. It was a, like a reserve, reserve safari, so it's not like it's it's not like a uh it's not like a Fake zoo. Fake ass habitat like the zoo. Well no, it's not like a zoo. It's kind of like it's it's like a zoo but on a much larger scale. It's like it's like a tourist attraction. Like when you get into those like school buses that have the whole like roof sawed off and then you're like driving down like this dirt road and they a have like these safari big truck? and yeah like these well no oh yes but no there are actual safari trucks but my personal experience as a child it was a school bus with the roof sawed off but 
Uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, they just get in like. For <laughs> it was a kindergarten field trip, and we all got on this oh, bus, right. and we were you... like. We were like, oh man, this is a... nowhere. You guys got all <laughs> kinds like, of crazy shit We were like, oh hey there. man, this is a really nice v bus. And then some kid from the back was like, wait a minute, what the fuck is school bus? And we all died laughing because we realized that we're basically just <laughs> riding in a. <laughs> we're basically all just riding in a school bus that had the roof sawed off of it with like the jaws of life or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. Give us a couple of minutes. We're gonna cut this bus in half. Yeah. All right, down at the scrapyard, that, ripping this thing apart. And they're like, "Wait a minute! I got a great idea. Let's make this a safari bus." <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, it's like they took they took they took the uh, school one of the school buses that we went to the field trip on. Spray painted it like these fucked ass like tans, browns, and greens, and made it look like some redneck ass camo. Sheared the fucking <laughs> roof off of it, took us on the trip, and then reattached the roof and repainted it yellow and black, and then gave it to us and was like, "Here, let's go." Oh, so that explained why we had to wait thirty minutes or uh, two hours to get back on the bus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the ride home, it's the same fucking bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. On the ride home, all you hear is. They're like, "What's that?" Oh, yeah, the roof got kind of chopped in half whenever we were there for some apparent reason. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't no, the safari like, bus that got chopped in half. No, it's yeah, not. It's the they, they our bus. They tricked you. As, they tricked you as kindergartners, and they probably told you like. Um, they're like, we're going on a safari, yay! It's like they drove you around the block Dead. for a couple of hours and you never even knew it. No, they took you to like, West Philadelphia. Look at the monkeys! <laughs> on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, mixing racks and hot shit to me while outside the school. Want a couple of guys who were up to no good. If you look good. over, you'll see Temple University. I mean, the Aztec <laughs> Temple. <laughs> <laughs> No, you just said. You get us into? <laughs> I don't know. I just know that you said in West Philadelphia, and like the Fresh Prince of Bel Air popped into my head instantly. <laughs> you ever been in West Philadelphia? Philadelphia Holy fuck! <laughs> Grand is where you get most of my days. Oh man. That's one place I'll never go again. It's West Philadelphia. Hell no! I will stay in three hours you of traffic. You I go weren't running born through and that raised again. in there. Dude, I went to fucking Philadelphia and I went to go to see the Liberty Bell and I had a laser pointer on me. And they told me to decide. And they told me that they can't let me in because they think I have a bomb on me. What? And I'm like, I'm <laughs> 10. What do you mean? It's a laser pointer. Yeah, because I'm, like, I'm gonna run, I'm I'm gonna gonna run into the Liberty minutes, Bell. Yeah. yeah, cause I'm gonna run into the building that has the Liberty Bell in it. Point a laser pointer at the Liberty Bell and go, I look like that! It's a Star... No, 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 dude. It's a, it's a real Star Wars lightsaber. He's gonna go chop that fucker in half. <laughs> you see the crack in the Liberty Bell? And now the rate moon, because I chopped the whole bottom off, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that crack's about to get a lot bigger than what you've seen. Dun, dun. <laughs> Alrighty, so the last topic... You think with how cold it gets in Pennsylvania that eventually it just crack in half. It's yeah, like right. so they brittle. probably have it like in a heated room or something. Heated room? Well, I've been there. It's not it's, that it's, brittle, it's, dude. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've been there. The bell is actually still metal. The whole reason why it was cracked was because it fell off like the fucking tower or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but still, like, how old? Is you want, I want to know how loud that fucking thing. The was bell when isn't it fell that off. old. It's only from like, what is it? 1600s? Seventeen. I think it's six, Seventeen. Wait, sixteen. Six, 16 or 17. No, it's it's 17 because it was, yeah, no, it was it was probably it might have been made in. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I I just That's don't why have the... like a Tahoe sitting out here. <laughs> I don't know. It's, a Granger, it's not mine. Like... I don't know. It's not mine. Aaron. No, what? he only he has a Yuga. Okay. Never mind. Yugo. Sorry. He has he has a you Dodge go, van. The you go, you go for the Cardinal. Ah! Yeah, anyway, uh, the last topic is the well, the second to last topic before the gaming topics. 
is the uh, is the second tragedy one. November 16th, 2017, confirmed death toll for massive building fire. Grenfell Tower in London caught on fire. Uh, I couldn't find a reason or how or why the fire was started. But authorities in London and the Scotland Yard have reported about 71 deaths inside the tower. Police report that there was no, not one room in the tower that wasn't touched by the blaze for the most part. Scotland Yard made sure that they were very thorough with, with their search of the tower for bodies, for survivors or bodies. And among the 71 dead, one was an unborn child that died because of the effects of the smoke on the mother. So, like, the baby and the mother weren't even, like, really in the fire. The mother just breathed in the smoke, and it killed the unborn child. Damn. So, that bitch was basically walking around with a dead fetus in her uterus for, like, the next day. That's really sad, actually. That's, like, actually sad. That's sad and slightly disgusting. Like, I don't know about you, but if I found out that I had a dead fetus inside my body, I... Well, that's just, like, know. a miscarriage. I, I don't know about you, if I found out I had a fetus inside my body anyway. <laughs> Even if it was alive, <laughs> that's what I'm concerned. It was alive, uh, I'd be have you know, I'm not a guy. I sexually classify as a table. <laughs> yeah, sexually anyway, I sexually... I sexually identify as a paperclip and a piece of string. <laughs> is the string your is the string your pee? What? It's a is string. string your pee -pee? It's twine, motherfucker. Twine. <laughs> Do you know what twine is? Oh. It's like string. Rope. Yeah, it's basically like that rope that you failed to climb in your gym class, but small. We don't have that. Sadly. We don't have to do that. We did in elementary school. Pussies. That'd be fucking awesome. I'd love to do that. <laughs> they just completely disregard that I call them pussies. <laughs> well, that's because they are pussies. Wait, it's wait. Just... What happens if you get to the top and you, like, let go? Do you fall the whole way on the ground? Like, break your no. ass? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah pretty much. Feet. Basically, basically what they said was, like, here, everybody gather at the bottom and be ready to catch the person if they fall. We also have this cushy mat that, like, won't support even you a know, child. It's about five inches of freaking Yeah. <laughs> It's about five <laughs> inches of basically, like, tough wrestling mat, and they're like, here, climb this bitch. Yeah, I can see why they don't do that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's just, that's just fucked up, though. Like, unborn child was killed by smoke. Hashtag feel How do we go from unborn child to climbing ropes in gym class? <laughs> uh, because of sexual identities? I didn't even yeah, know like that, that makes any sense. Because he said, I said we're all guys, and you said you classify as a table. Yeah. I never said and that. Then Aaron said he was yeah, an he attack did. helicopter, and then I said that I was <laughs> a piece of string. <laughs> I didn't hear the attack helicopter. I didn't hear the attack <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> Yeah, Aaron sexually identifies as an Apache attack helicopter. Is there a problem with that? His his his, his sub classification <laughs> his sub classification gender call sign is Cobra One, actually. Can I go for a ride? <laughs> Can I go for a, his surname is Cobra One? Can I go for a ride, Cobra One? <laughs> Oh, oh my fucking god! Prison bus again. You guys should check out the furry dating network. <laughs> furry what? Dude. What the furry? What the fuck? Just go. Just look it up then. No, I don't want to look up the furry <laughs> dating network. What the fuck? Yes, you do. Trust me, you do. Do you want I to don't. get in my car? Cause your tire is blown out. My tire's blown out. All right. Take me to the. The Take bus? me to. No, oh, the bus. um. Speaking of to which, the, uh, I'm gonna airfield. I'm gonna p talk about the game for a minute, but not the actual game play, but just the game that we're playing, GTA Five. I have an idea for a video in the future. Uh, that it's would literally be really just fun. And that would be really fun. Uh, me and Aaron did it the other day. Aaron, if you remember what it was, don't say it aloud because I want it to be a surprise for YouTube. Because I'm planning on making a video about it. 
at some point. It was pretty fucking funny. Yeah. Uh, so we we will do that with uh, Brent and maybe Nick if he ever gets his poor fat ass fucking PS Plus again. I'm uh, getting it for Christmas. <laughs> no one fucking cares because that's a million days away. Not really. No, it's, it's like it's like November rest, went quick as shit. It's like boy. it's like a month and a half away, dude. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. It's, it's like a month, a month and dude. a couple days. Cri yeah, it's, Christmas it's, is still in December, but you still have the whole month of December to go before it's actually Christmas. Yeah, why don't you just buy yeah. a month of fucking membership? Yeah, because I like can't find bucks. month memberships at the store. They don't sell them. They yeah, buy it digitally, motherfucker. I ain't got no credit card, yes, motherfucker. Yes, there's an Apache helicopter here. Let's go. Nick, it's... You don't even really Nick, need it's... a credit card. You need a debit card. Nick, the mem the memberships are in the back by the PS stuff. But and if you go to the Walmart one... Yeah, they don't have the $10 card there. Yeah, they do. I was just there today. Well, I haven't seen them. What, maybe you haven't seen them because you're literally like visiting the store at the end of the stock cycle, and you're just getting shitted on in terms of luck. Like you visit it literally like the day before they the truck comes in and it restocks. I would laugh my ass off. You watch. I mean, it's like 15 minutes before they stock it. God damn it, you cocksuckers! <laughs> you, it's like 15 I'll be minutes next before month. you like just stop. <laughs> Oh, Aaron, if you actually are an attack helicopter, for the love of God, don't use rockets. You're gonna fucking blow the bus up. Fail it, it's the one that doesn't have rockets. I don't, even, I don't even know how to use rockets, dude. If you hit triangle... It'll Wait, is that the bus the right there? Maybe. I don't know. There's two buses? No, no, there's only one. Last time I checked, it's heading northbound, Bean, so we might wanna... It's, at, it's southbound. Is yeah, it? I'm like right here already. I looked at the map and I thought it was no, north. it's heading north, dude. Yeah, it Which is way northbound. are we driving at the current? We are currently heading oh. southbound and it is heading northbound, which means right here I'm oh, gonna switch oh, to oh, oncoming. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna follow it. Brent, yeah. you ever played a golf course where there's two holes and one green? That's what no. she said. That's literally impossible. No, it's not literally one. impossible. What are you talking about? Ready? I'm gonna take out Bugs. the bus driver with my revolver. Go. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I, missed. I missed. Oh my god. Okay, well, That's this is kind of a terrible time to bring it up, but time to bring up the last uh, topic for the night, because I realized about halfway through this podcast that I didn't use my stopwatch, so I have no clue how far in we are. Which is very unfortunate, because if the video clip saves and we're not done with the podcast, that's it. Because I can only do 60 minutes. So, <laughs> so we'll just, like, say the last topic, and then if it cuts off prematurely, whatever. Um, last topic, November 14th. Star Wars Battlefront 2 is already a flop, and I actually have an update to yeah, this topic I that's not in here. I can't even have Darth Vader. Well, well, I actually have an update to this topic, uh past what I have here, but what I have here is, um, EA's new Star Wars game is receiving intense backlash about uh, is receiving intense backlash from the gaming community fans and reviewers alike about some of the prices that it takes to unlock some of the things in game. The in-game credit system is used to unlock more powerful characters and heroes in the game. The players are upset that the credit prices are too high, with some players not even becoming eligible to play as a hero. Uh, EA has since bumped prices down since the beta, but so far there's no way to tell if it's enough until the game releases. And a little update to that, um, actually today at work I was on Twitter on my break and I saw that um, EA has completely discontinued all, any and all microtransactions in Star Wars Battlefront 2 because of this uproar. And I actually retweeted and quoted the retweet saying this is a very small step in the right direction because... If it worked this time, who knows what else we can, what other EA games we can, like, complain and put our foot, feet down about. Like, if we all united, stamp our feet down and say enough is enough, eventually we might be able to steer the corruption slightly of EA. Because we've already done it with this game. Who knows what other games we can do it with, too. Because, like, think about it. If eventually, if, if we... If, ooh! 
I'm not, I know I'm not supposed to talk about gameplay, but I'm gonna have to actually do some editing on that. That was amazing. I was trying to push a cop into, like, a pole, and instead of him hitting the pole, I hit the pole, but just my right side of my tires hit the pole. <laughs> and I did an aileron roll and landed back on all four tires, like, perfectly. It was amazing. Anyway. Uh -huh. Back to the topic at hand. Uh, so, yeah, if we can, like, steer EA wait, away wait, from wait. microtransactions, that would be awesome. Yeah, that's steer all companies away from that. That and the loot boxes. This year was the year of the loot box. Wait, is is Aaron in the bus again? Yeah, yes. I'm the one. Else. Okay, because I didn't know if we actually stole the bus yet, because I was about to start popping caps into the fucking driver. <laughs> yeah, kill me, you motherfucker. <laughs> Like, some games are really good at creating microtransactions, and then some games are just, like, every single thing that you want has well, to be a microtransaction. there's no such thing as really good microtransactions, it's just some companies do it not as bad as others. Like, it's Metal Gear... Are not like, shit. Some are shit. like, Metal Gear Solid 5's microtransactions I don't think are that bad. Yeah, they're littered in the game, and it's fucking terrible, and Konami's terrible with microtransactions, but some of the microtransactions, I feel like... Like, like they're... <sighs> As much as a lot of people say that there isn't, and it's controversial to say whether there is or isn't, I believe that there is a price for nostalgia, but the price isn't anything more than about a dollar. Like, for example, in Metal Gear Solid 5, you can pay 99 cents to, like, per outfit to get, um, like, outfits from Metal Gear Solid 3 for your characters in Metal Gear Solid 5, which I think is really cool. So, like, I have the, the, uh... Um, Naked Snake's Tuxedo, Naked Snake's Fatigues, and then I have, like, the boss's outfit and Eva's outfit, and I can get all those outfits for, like, 99 cents a pop. Uh, or at least it used to be 99 cents. I think it's actually, like, a dollar something now, since, uh, Kojima's actually out of the picture, but same difference, though. It's, it's, it's only about a dollar for each outfit, which I, I find is fine. I'm, I'm willing to spend an extra dollar for you know, the original Metal Gear Solid 3 outfit, because it just looks fucking amazing in the I'm, game. I'm I'd rather just like spend an extra $20 and have everything unlocked. It sucks that games are coming out with, like, season passes and stuff, but then they still have microtransactions. Black Ops yeah. 3, Black Ops 2, well, the Black Ops what 2 sucks, didn't have it, but... What sucks about season passes is season passes are a great idea, in my opinion. It's just, if you're gonna have a season pass, have it actually unlock everything. Like, as much as everybody hated, and as much as I hate Infinite Warfare, Infinity War did a season pass right with Infinite Warfare. Because Infinite Warfare, after the game's release, it had extra weapons. But if you had the season pass, you got them all for free. But on a game like Black Ops 3, like the M16, the AK, like all those extra supply drop weapons... You didn't even get if you bought the season pass, which sucked ass. Like, if you buy the season pass, you should get all of those, like, the base variants of all those added weapons for free anyway. Like, Rainbow Six Siege did it good, because if you bought the season pass, you got every character that came out. Yeah, that's good. And you got like, to use them, like, oh, I think it's like a week before everybody else can or something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's actually a tempting season pass. Like, I've been very tempted to buy Rainbow yeah. Six's season pass. It's just I don't play the game enough. And that's, like, the only reason yeah. why I don't buy it. If they, like, if I really got, if they changed that game a little bit to a point where I liked it even more, and then I'm, and then I just, like, start playing the shit out of the game, then yeah, I'll buy the season pass, because it's actually worth it. But, I mean, if, 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 I, I like it when gaming companies do season passes, right? Let's all not forget that Infinity Ward, but... Wait, is this her. working? Yeah, it is. Ooh, Let's all fun. not forget that they put uh, microtransactions into Call of Duty Remastered. Yeah, Infinity Ward kind of... It seems like the division of Infinity Ward working on Marvel for Remastered was completely separate from the division working on Infinite Warfare. Because Infinite Warfare's season pass system and, like... Even though the microtransactions were bad, for the season pass, you still got all the extra guns for free and stuff. Actually, no, they weren't separate, because the, it was, uh, the same thing was in Modern Warfare Remastered, I think, as well. But it really pissed a lot of people off when you found out that you still had to pay $15 for the map pack. 
Like, people were fucking pissed. Well, why would you have to pay if you got the season pass? Well, I, I think people with the season pass didn't have to pay, but what I'm saying is the fact that the... the whatever map pack was more money on top of that even you know, without the season pass was pretty bullshit, because it should have been in there. Like, even from the game's release, they were saying, like, we only have the base game maps, and then the variable map pack, or whatever the fuck it was called all the way back when the game came out, that map pack is going to be added to the game for free, and they kept saying that it was going to be free for free for fucking ever, and then it actually comes out, and it's $15, and everybody's like, what the fuck? Wait, why'd I get out? I don't know. I don't know either. I think if you... That was on my phone. But I think I'm gonna... Since I don't know the actual time on the podcast, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Because we're through all of our topics. and Unless anyone has a story that they want to start up and share with us. <laughs> nope, I don't know. Apparently only 0.6% of uh, people beat World War II on veteran so far. Really? Yeah, less than 1%. Wow. That's understandable, though. I'm Even sure, the first mission is I'm, ass on Veteran. I'm sure I could, like, beat it, but it'd probably take me, like, a year. <laughs> yeah, the, the main that. reason why isn't because it's... Well, I mean, it's really difficult, but I don't even think it's because it's too difficult. It's just it's too tedious. People don't want to spend that much fucking time on it. A lot of people would rather put their time in zombies and multiplayer than... Like beating the campaign. I haven't even heard Somebody that, uh... say multiplayer. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. You can't even play it because you don't even have the game or PlayStation Plus. <laughs> Not yet, bitch. Shut your I mean, so fucking quick, face yeah. up, yeah. motherfucker. You want to have a friendly bet? I don't want to have a friendly bet. I don't even want to have a bet at all. I just want hostility. What, what level are you online? What level am I online? Enough mm -hmm. to make your mom's pussy wet, dude. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was actually a thing. You remember back in like, um, like Modern Warfare 2 when we were like 12 years old, we thought that like if you were good at Call of Duty, you could get any chick you wanted. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when you're 12 years old, you're like, yeah. Next, I have a 3.0 KD, I can get that girl at school, because I can tell her that I'm good at Call of Duty, and then you do it, and she's like, Did you just oh, see that fuck. trick shot, babe? I just 720 no scope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I'm sitting there with, like, an 8.5 KD. Nobody likes me. <laughs> when you you're said... running an 8.5 KD, I'm running a .85 KD. <laughs> I love how you Did said you an 8.5 KD, and then in that pause, you said, like, you paused, and then you said, and nobody likes me, and right as you said, and nobody likes me, I imagine that meme of, like, that black guy crying, but he still has, like, the straight face, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes a really crappy noise, he's like, ah. Not that no. one, it's, it's just an That's image. That's the manliest cry ever. Yeah, but no, the manliest cry ever is 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 the is a good one too. Alrighty, well anyway, I think I'm gonna end the podcast. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, tune in next time when we talk when we talk about more shit that probably nobody gives a fuck about because you know probably <laughs> nobody watches these. Um, now I'm gonna completely sell myself out in self promotion and talk about if you visit my donation page in the description and you donate a minimum of a dollar, you get access to whatever the following, the live version of whatever the following podcast is after that. And if you pledge a minimum of $2 or more on Patreon, you get all of the rewards that all the, that the tier gets. Plus, you get um, unlimited access to every free version of every podcast. Um, uh, unlimited access to every live version of every podcast. Uh as long as you're still making monthly payments. Uh, lately, we have not have had a live version because nobody has done that, which I have no problem with. But uh, just keep in mind that if you do do that, there will be a section of the podcast mm -hmm. where you can go back to any topic at all that you want and add your two cents on it. 
and talk about stuff with us. So that's going to conclude this week's installment of BBN Podcast. Also, uh, I forgot about this up until now. Uh, there will not be one for Thanksgiving week because I'm going to be busy as fuck. Uh, 